Welcome to Ultimate Fighting World. Today, our challengers will battle over which is the more exciting sport, football or football, also known as soccer in the United States. So let's just call this battle football versus soccer. Which sport is more exciting? In this corner, we have Quincy. Quincy loves soccer and thinks it's more exciting than football. She also loves when the guy yells, go! Go! Oh my God! See what soccer does to me? And in this corner, we have Zach. Zach thinks football is way more exciting than soccer. He also plays football and has the record on his team for most hits to the head. Uh, what is he talking about? I don't remember that happening, but I do play football and it's exciting. During the battle, you have three rounds to use your best words and prove to me and to the crowd who will be the ultimate fighting words champion. Round one is called Wild Word, where I say the first word that pops into my head, and you each get 30 seconds to convince me who should get the point for the round. Quincy, welcome to the jungle. It's game time. The Wild Word is hands. Go. Hands? In soccer, you don't use your hands. You need to be skilled enough to use only your feet. That's what makes it so exciting. In soccer, a player must know how to pass, shoot, dribble, and control the ball, all while running up to 120 yards on the field, while players from the other teams are running at them, trying to steal the ball with their feet, not their hands. Then that player has to kick the ball past the goalie to score a goal, which is way more exciting than football. Uh, yeah, but what she didn't mention is that the goalie can use their hands. Make up your mind, soccer. Hands or no hands. Speaking of hands, on football, you can use your hands to throw a ball up to 70 yards on the field. 7D, 70. And that's like three feet per yard, which if you do the math, that's like 6,000 feet. Don't do the math on that. Just trust me, you can also use your hands to help you tackle players. Catch the pass and carry the ball as you run into the end zone for a beautiful touchdown. Then you get to use your hands when you celebrate the points you just scored. Touchdown! Well played, Zach. That means you get the first down. I mean, the first point for Wild Word and lead one to nothing. Now, let's see who says it better in round two, the hot potato round, where our contestants will go head to head kicking around exciting facts about football and soccer. Whoever gets caught holding the potato when the buzzer goes off, loses. Hot potato starts now. Dude, did you know American football evolved from two British sports? Yeah, soccer and rugby. So it's like they took parts of soccer, mixed it with rugby, and made it more exciting. The first American football game was played on November 19th, 1869, between two college teams, Rutgers and Princeton. Modern soccer, also called football everywhere except the United States, began in England in 1863. It is played by 250 million players in over 200 countries and has approximately 4 billion fans worldwide making it the world's most popular sport. So... Eh, popular, maybe. But exciting? Nah. In soccer, you get one point for kicking a goal. In football, there are four ways to get points. A touchdown is worth six, a field goal is worth three, a safety is worth two, and after a touchdown, you can either kick for the extra point or go for a two-point conversion. Mm, that is just confusing to me. Also, there's too much starting and stopping in football. A soccer game is non-stop action. Did you know that the average soccer player runs approximately six miles per game? That is equal to running back and forth on a basketball court 350 times. The average NFL player is only physically moving an average of 11 minutes per game. Ugh, not too exciting. Well, the most non-exciting thing about soccer is that a game can end in a tie, meaning nobody wins. In football, there's no such thing as... Oh, time is up. Too bad this round didn't end up in a tie. Quincy, you scored the goal here and win round two. With the score tied at 1-1, it's time to convince the crowd. In this final round of the game, you each get 15 seconds to say it all one last time and convince the crowd who deserves the final point in this battle. Zach, it's time for kickoff. Okay, four openers. Football evolved from soccer and rugby. They just made it more exciting. In football, you get four different ways to score points, not like soccer where you only get one point for a goal. Also in football, the game will always end with a winner. 
absurd. There's no such thing as a tie like in soccer. And lastly, in the exciting game of football, you get to kick the ball, throw the ball, tackle play, catch a pass, and run the ball into the end zone for a beautiful touchdown. Beautiful and exciting. You got a lot of yardage there, Zach, but Quincy, you get the last shot. Let's see if you can score. Play soccer, you need to be skilled enough to use only your feet to dribble, pass, control, and shoot the ball. Oh, we're running up and down the field. Soccer is non-stop action, with the average player running six miles per game. And soccer is played by 250 million people in over 200 countries and has four billion fans worldwide. It is the most popular sport in the world. Why? Because it's exciting! Well, you both scored with some strong points. They are both great sports, football or soccer. Which sport is more exciting? Who said it best, Zach or Quincy? Let's hear it for football. Let's hear it for soccer. Whoa, looks like football. And with the final score of two to one, we have been convinced football is more exciting than soccer. Zach, you are the ultimate fighting words champion. Not sure why, but suddenly I'm craving buffalo wings. I got to handle that. Bye-bye now.